Hello and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial with me, Zach Schneff from Zach Schneff Photography and Photocascadia.com. Today I'm going to talk about efficiency in Photoshop and how to save some time uh, during your workflow. So the two best ways I think to increase your efficiency in Photoshop are to utilize keyboard shortcuts and actions. So let's go through a couple of quick examples of both. So for keyboard shortcuts, I use keyboard shortcuts for pretty much everything you can use keyboard shortcuts for. So if I want to change tools to say the brush tool, I'll just hit B or the lasso tool to make a selection, just hit L. If I want to burn, hit O. If I want to do some clone stamping, or some, some spot healing, hit J, or actual clone stamping, hit S. And if I wanna increase the radius of the tool that I'm using, like the brush tool, I'll use the square bracket keys. Uh, that's actually saves me a ton of time, rather than having to go all the way up and change the size manually. So keyboard shortcuts are pretty incredible way to save a lot of time and make your workflow much more efficient. Some other keyboard shortcuts that I find really handy are using X when I'm doing masking to change between black and white or foreground and background colors. And also, if you drop down any of the file menus here, You can see that there's keyboard shortcuts pretty much associated with many of the repetitive tasks you do in Photoshop. So closing windows, saving files, and most other repetitive things you may be doing. Cutting, copying, pasting. And if you want to select all, deselect, all that kind of stuff that you do all the time, I always use keyboard shortcuts for. So these are good things to learn. And so I'm always looking for new ways to incorporate keyboard shortcuts. So if you really want to increase your efficiency in Photoshop, I highly recommend learning about actions. Actions save me so much time on all these repetitive tasks. So any task that I, that I do quite often, I will I build an action for it. And I'll take it one step further, and you can see I have these function buttons assigned to a lot of my actions. And that really ends up saving me even more time. So here I've got my, my action palette open. And let me show you an example of, uh, of these assigned actions in, in action. So I'll close this up and let's say I have two files open and I'm going to do multiple exposure blending and I want to copy one file onto another file to, to build them as separate layers on a single file. That's normally something I always do and so this saves me a lot of time. What I do, I have three separate actions that I do in succession that saved me a lot of time. So the first one I have assigned to F7 and that's just select all copy and then I have paste assigned to F8 and then I have you can see F9 I have um, add mask fill with black assigned to F9. So those things all in a row um, just boom 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 you can do it very quickly. So I'll press F7 to copy and close, press F8 to paste, and then I'll hit F9 to add a mask and fill it with black. And you can see that took just a few seconds, and normally, you know, it's going to take you quite a bit longer. So I'm always looking for these little efficient tricks. So the way you can assign these, once you learn how to use actions, uh, if you want to assign them to a function button, 
you'll go into this tiny little menu in the action palette with uh, so I have that mask fill black selected and I'll hit action options and you can see down here you can assign a function button and you can add a modifier button as well either shift or command just by clicking shift or command or shift command and you can also color code these if you want to help organize them I don't bother with that but that's just my preference and then you hit OK and then next time you want to use that action you just hit that function button and boom there you go so one of my favorite uses for actions and one that saves me a lot of time is my compression and exporting for the web and you can see this is my basic web compression and exporting action and it's 20 some steps long and uh, so that saves me actually a lot of time not having to do those every single time the fact is when I press this and, and I have it um, assigned to F6 when I press that button it only takes a few seconds and normally you know that can take like five minutes or more to do that manually and when you're doing something like watermarking it can be even longer 10 minutes or longer so instead of 10 minutes it's like five seconds or less so that's a great improvement so I'll demonstrate really quick if I just hit F6 you'll see it'll go through that whole line and I actually have it set to stop at certain points so like for the sharpening part of this action it will the dialog box will pop up here or the option box and I will if I need to make any adjustments if it's a little bit too sharp for this particular image I'll, I'll change the percentage or the radius here and then I said okay and it will just continue along and there you go so again instead of five or ten minutes it took about five or ten seconds so pretty good so as you can see both hotkeys and actions can save you a ton of time and really increase your efficiency in Photoshop this is Zach Schneff see you next time